Hi everybody, um, today we're going to look at uh, safety in Rio de Janeiro um, and throughout Brazil um, and basically get some ideas for where uh, the problems are um, and where uh, things are actually safe. So um, here you have a heat map uh, kind of showing downtown Rio. Um, so if you see, um, this is Rio de Janeiro basically. Um, and most of the people live basically back in here in Rio, um, actually, and that's uh, kind of the more unsafe place of Rio. Uh, it turns out that the uh, place that most of the tours go um, are is actually a little bit safer. Um, but you can see on the map um, basically what uh, the major problem is um, basically back in here uh, in this area. Um, and we want to kind of look at more of how to find kind of the more safer areas. Um, so you can see that uh, Copacabana uh, is a little bit less safe than Leblon um, and uh, Ipanema. Uh, and you can see uh, some of the other areas. So it kind of as you head further away um, from uh essentially uh, Leblon and uh, some kind of the beaches here, uh, things do kind of get um, less safe. Um, so it certainly is a debate um, where the more dangerous neighborhoods are here are. You can see kind of, um, this is a different map, not as detailed, um, but you can see that again, it shows this area back in here being pretty dangerous. Um, and also right down here, the center of the city, um, kind of on the north side, uh, of downtown so the downtown is basically right here where the port is um, international airport is over here so one of the major problems in rio is getting from the international airport over to the beach safely right um, you basically have to go through um, some dangerous neighborhood in this area so um, you should kind of look at this area and see um, where the problem is um, and then also over here um, if you're trying to get um, to different sides of the beach, um, but basically there's um, big buses that run um, to the beach uh, over to Copacabana, Ipanema, uh, Leblon, and so on. Um, but uh, and those all go from the airport. Um, you can get them for about uh, 15, 20 AIs. Um, so as you might imagine, um, Rio is one of the fastest growing uh, and largest uh, cities in uh, Latin America. Um, it is also uh, very large in terms of GDP per, uh, it's actually, it says 30th here, but, um, I looked on the list and it said 50th, but kind of a debate. Um, but, uh, basically, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's basically not as wealthy as say San Paulo or, uh, Buenos Aires, but it's kind of debatable. Certain parts of Rio can be pretty, uh, expensive. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, so here is that list um, of how wealthy Rio is. Average person in Rio makes about $15,000, $16,000 say. Um, and, uh, but you can see here, um, it's about as wealthy as say, uh, you know, maybe Denver or uh, Baltimore. Um, actually Amsterdam, uh, surprisingly. Um, and, uh, uh, Manila, Philippines. So I would say Manila, Philippines is probably the more comparative place, um, or you can see uh, some cities in China, um, but uh, Manila is probably most accurate and actually it's slightly more uh, wealthy than uh, Manila here, at least according to the map. Um, so you can see um, Sao Paulo up here, um, number 43, um, and actually the uh, salary per person there um, is about uh, $12,000 per year. So quite a bit less um, on uh, salary. So if you're thinking uh, safety versus salary, you know, basically uh, Rio is a little bit more uh, wealthy uh, per person. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is look at some top sites um, here and just see uh, how safe those are. Um, and we kind of compare and uh, take a look. So this is, some of the top sites in Rio de Janeiro, um, you can see that a couple of them are near the center of the city. Um, there's a couple beaches here and then a park um, and some other things. So you can see from a quick switch of this, um, basically again, the unsafe parts are kind of over in this area, um, primarily uh, for Rio. 
and now you can see kind of where that is. So these uh, tourist attractions may be a little bit more unsafe. Um, basically, Museum of Amiya, um, Royal Portuguese Reading Room, um, and then the stairs here, and then uh, the, uh, this area right in here. Um, so unfortunately, if you're looking at hotels, a lot of the hotels are actually located um, you know, on the beach too, um, but that's a little safer, but there are quite a number of hotels even back in here. Um, <coughs> and some of this area in here particularly can be kind of dangerous if you look at it. So right in here, fairly dangerous, but then fairly safe right next to there. So a little bit of a debate um, when you're looking at hotels, um, but you can see there's not too many hotels. Um, Santo Cristo, um, you can see right in this area. Um, and then here's also a youth hostel map. So again, you can see that there's a number of hotels back in here that you might have to think a little bit more carefully about. Um, so many places say that uh, Rio is uh, basically a very big concern when it comes to uh, mugging. Um, and basically a lot of people would argue that it's very unsafe. Um, so it's important to realize that. Um, and you can see that it ranks here uh, on the lower half, uh, certainly very lower half of uh, safety cities um, down around Detroit, uh, Baltimore, uh, Memphis, uh, and some other cities, um, even Kabul, Afghanistan um, looks to be a little more safer, it says, but I would seriously doubt that depending on what kind of tourist you are. Um, so, um, Anyway, but here's Rio de Janeiro. Um, you can see a crime index uh, for it as well. Um, so this seems to be maybe more of a reliable indicator. They got uh, overall indicator, digital security, health security, infrastructure security, personal security, and kind of an overall ranking. So you can see Tokyo, Singapore uh, being pretty safe, Amsterdam, Sydney, Toronto, Washington, DC, Copenhagen, Seoul, uh, Melbourne, Chicago. Um, I'm familiar with Chicago, so I kind of get an idea. Um, it shows that uh, San Francisco is less safe than Chicago. Um, kind of would debate that a little bit. Um, but uh, anyway, it uh, probably depends on who you are. Um, but uh, anyway, you can see Los Angeles being uh, getting in here, at Paris, Madrid, uh, and then way down here uh, next to Mexico City, which actually Rio is considered less safe than Mexico City. Um, and more safe than Sao Paulo, um, which I would agree on. Um, but uh, anyway, so um, so it's a little bit of a debate. You can see it's more safe than Mumbai um, and some other areas. Uh, but in terms of places, um, you know, in the West, um, you can compare it uh, to basically about as safe as Rome, say, um, or uh, you know, it's hard to hard to hard to say. Maybe Mexico City is probably the closest to uh, us here in the United States. Um, so let's look at some of these major attractions, um, starting with Christ Redeemer here, um, and kind of get an idea for how safe uh, each of these areas are. Um, we can look at some street view as well if we need. Um, to kind of see, but Christ Redeemer is located right in here. Um, it's a famous statue of uh, Christ, and you can see it looking over Rio. Um, there is a way to walk up there. There's also a tram, um, so it's important to see um, basically both areas and see how safe it is. It's kind of in the jungle here. You can see monkeys uh, and some other things. So on a map, you can kind of see Christ Redeemer is a little bit difficult to get to. Um, probably need to take a cab. Um, and it does have kind of a back road, you can see. Um, anyway, but uh, Christ Redeemer kind of loading up here. A um, little bit difficult to get to. Again, you'd have to take a cab um, to get there. Um, but uh, you can see some of the questionable areas usually are the uh, kind of the towns that are up in the hills um, and people that live uh, kind of in these areas, um, you know, unregulated housing and things like that. Um, but you kind of see um, where Christ Redeemer is. Um, now, this area is quite safe um, near the lake. Um, but again, once you get up into the hills, um, that is kind of a little bit more of a debate. Um, but <coughs> uh, the safest part of Rio, which we're starting to look at right here, is actually in this area right here. Um, and then uh, Copacabana. And then there is some kind of other safe areas kind of um, along here near Flamingo and some 
other spots. Um, but really, as you get up into the hills, um, even in this part of Copacabana, you can see there's a little bit of a, a makeshift town up in the hills here. Um, that can get a little bit sketchy um, just down by the beach and some other areas. So you kind of have to be careful um, as you move maybe over into here. There's less um, of these kind of like shanty towns um, along, the, along the beach. Uh, and you can see on this side, there's basically no uh, shanty towns. Um, so on this side, it's maybe a little bit more safer. Um, the cliffs are a little bit steeper um, and uh, means a little bit safer as well. So Um, yeah, so sorry, I wasn't pausing this. I just noticed I was looking at Chrysler Deemer. Um, but yeah, it's uh, basically this area. Um, here you can see it finally loaded in uh, the image of a Chrysler Deemer. And basically, um, you can kind of, I was looking around the edges just to see uh, what was going on. Uh, so you can see, um, you know, Chrysler Deemer in this area, basically. Um, and uh, you know, off to the city as you head down into here, this is perhaps perhaps the most important area to know about um, in terms of safety. So if this is the lake right here, Chrysler Neymar is like right in here, right? So you can kind of see um, basically um, this road heading in through here. You might have a couple uh, questions about um, just being careful as you drive through here. Um, um, so Sugarloaf Mountain is another major tourist attraction. Um, perhaps Christ Redeemer is uh, the biggest uh, tourist attraction of Rio. Um, actually, pretty hard to get to. Um, but <coughs> Sugarloaf is a little bit more center down near downtown. Um, I saw some pretty cool pictures. I've been up to it myself. It's pretty nice to see. Um, it is quite expensive to get there, though. Uh, so on this map on the right, you can kind of see where it's located. Um, unfortunately, this is Christ Redeemer, and you can see it's kind of out uh, on this little peninsula here, um, just kind of, uh, I guess that would be east of, north and east of Copacabana. And that corresponds to this area right in here. Um, you can see um, basically that one side of it is pretty safe, other side is pretty safe too. And when you consider all of Rio, this green area is uh, really safe, um, actually relatively speaking. So you wanna kind of say, um, Green is, I would say, pretty safe. Um, and maybe there's some questions in here because there's just no people uh, in these areas. But when it's really close to this uh, red zone, you might want to be a little more careful. But again, uh, I would say Sugarloaf is very safe and really easy to get, a uh, little easier to get to, to say, than uh, the Chrysler Deemer statue. Um, so here's kind of what's going on for Sugarloaf. You can see basically. It's right here, right? And uh, you take uh, basically a tram from here um, up to there, and it kind of hits two different spots as you go up. Uh, and then there's a tram right in here somewhere. Um, but uh, it is pretty spectacular. Um, and you can see most of this housing in here is pretty safe. All along in here, um, pretty good. Um, you can see it's uh, there's is some boating area in here. Where there's quite a lot of boats, um, but uh, relatively safe uh, on the shore and things like that. Uh, so next I just want to look at Copacabana Beach. Um, we're going to kind of take a look here uh, at the details, but you can see 
Uh, Copacabana is perhaps not as safe uh, as Ipanema and Leblon, um, but some of that is debatable. Um, there is kind of some area in here in between uh, Copacabana um, when you're getting from Copacabana over to uh, Ipanema that could be uh, not so safe. Um, but uh, there is a big lake over here, um, and around that lake, um, it's relatively safe. There's really nice housing and some other things. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of a debate um, relative uh, to the rest of Rio, but it looks pretty safe uh, in general. Um, now, the beaches are all considered unsafe at night. Um, people say, oh, what do you mean by unsafe? But it is uh, very unsafe, uh, you know, muggings. Uh, it can be pretty common. Uh, even me, I'm not uh, super comfortable going out at night on the beach or even on some of the major streets. Um, so if you're really concerned about what's going on, um, it's best to take a look at a map um, and try to see, you know, where the areas are that potentially have uh, housing settlements that uh, could kind of be really close to the beach um, and then also, um, you know, create some conflict. Um, so, uh, but basically you have uh, right in here, uh, I would say is maybe not super safe um, on the beach. Um, you can be careful about that. That might be one of the more uh, dangerous parts of Rio, um, particularly uh, if you're talking about beach. Uh, and then there's another area right in here. Um, you can say right along in this beach, you can kind of see it's a little easier to get in. Uh, and that's part of Copacabana. Uh, but it is kind of a beautiful place, part of Copacabana here, because they got this like walkout area, these rocks, and some other things. So, but actually on this side of the beach may be a little bit safer, uh, just because the proximity to this area right in here. Um, so you can kind of see that maybe even on this side of the, uh, uh, might you have to be a little bit careful here. Um, but um, once you get into this area, this is pretty good and safe, um, but you kind of got to compare it um, and uh, kind of look around in the details um, to see. Um, so going back to the map, um, you can see that here we are, Ipanema and Copacabana. Um, so Copacabana does have even some area back in here that you kind of got to be careful about. Um, and uh, I would say this light green area uh, could be questionable too when you get deep inside here you don't know um, you know when you're further sometimes the beach is pretty well lit at night um, but some of the other streets you might want to be careful about um, so again um, you can kind of pick out pretty easily uh, from an overall overview where Rio is dangerous you want to kind of be careful back in here um, and also there's just little settlements up into the hills um, where you want to be careful uh, because people it's kind of like unregulated housing there's no real police policing um, stuff like that so uh, it could be pretty dangerous um, back in here uh, as well um, but it really uh, depends i have a friend that lives um, back in this area but uh, you know it could depend uh, a lot on also getting uh, getting there you know you have to get to a grocery store to get all these different kind of things as well so it can be difficult um back in some of these areas uh it's interesting to see here because you can see um basically some of the areas that are pretty unsafe so there's kind of a little pocket in here and a little pocket in here um and a couple of pockets right in here that look not so great um and the beach itself is pretty good is about like Copacabana uh, but I could say that there's definitely some um, hidden spots in here that you want to be very careful about um, so one quick point I would say is that as you are walking into some of these areas um, this is not too far um, there's like an area called Gloria um, but basically it can get pretty sketchy um, pretty quick um, but you know the map says it's pretty safe in here but you really want to be very careful so personally, what I would say um, is about a distance like from here to here is about where you want to be in terms of safety, right? So, you know, once you get back into here, I can't really vouch for this map necessarily, but right along the waterfront it is pretty good here. Um, so I'd say this pocket right here is one thing I want to look at pretty carefully. So as you're heading in from the beach here, um, there's a pocket off to the left that you want to be particularly careful about. Um, that little pocket 
corresponds to this area right in here. Uh, so you can see as you're heading in for the beach, uh, there's kind of an area where you have to go off to the left. Um, and that area is not too safe. Um, it kind of has slower road. Um, and you can kind of see right along the water here, um, but maybe not too safe um, in terms of crime. Uh, but being careful about this particular area is important to think about. What you can do instead of actually visiting some of these areas is grab a street view on the uh, Google Earth uh, and you can see right in here where the area is. So you can see what I did is I grabbed a couple spots, maybe back in here you can see what this looks like right there, that intersection. I can zoom in and I'll take us to the street view. So you can see kind of what we're talking about. You know, we got these barbed wire fences. Um, not exactly, that's pretty much common though uh, in a lot of areas. You can see kind of the uh, towns, people, what it looks like, uh, kind of quite a lot of graffiti uh, in the area. Uh, so maybe you want to be careful about that. Um, and yeah, so basically, I'll just move up a couple more blocks to see, so you can see again, uh, not looking too safe here, um, but you can see some people waving, saying hi. Uh, so kind of a flatter area, maybe some makeshift housing uh, up above, uh, but uh, an area to be careful about, to think about. Um, so that area that we were looking at right here was along this road, kind of up in this piece here, and just looking. So basically it's worse kind of as in the middle here. Uh, you can see, um, and then there's some pockets right in here as well. Um, so, and then it gets uh, fairly safe again once you get back in here, but then this gets even worse. So you can kind of see, um, maybe you can kind of compare this whole road here. So you can see as you head out um, into uh, the regular part of Rio de Janeiro. Um, so we're basically talking about the two most dangerous parts of Rio, perhaps the most dangerous part being back in here. Um, in this area, um, and then another area kind of like right back in here, uh, not being too safe as well. So there's basically three or four main areas you need to know about. It's this area right here, um, this area in here, um, and then kind of uh, right near downtown uh, on this area. Let's go back to downtown because it's nice to know um, precisely uh, what the situation is. And you can kind of see in here um, that uh, in the downtown area, there's a kind of a kind of a spot right next to downtown. If you look at this here, um, let me try to zoom in, you can see this. So there's kind of some areas here um, that you gotta be careful about um, in particular. Um, so here we are back in downtown Rio. So you can see uh, basically Copacabana, Ipanema, and then this downtown area. So we're basically talking about um, kind of what's going on here, right? So there's kind of some area right in here, right along the waterfront that isn't so great and kind of on this side of the downtown area. So once you head, um, you know, across this here, you're kind of talking in this area and perhaps right in there is the worst spot. So let's just look at right where that is, right? So we see here, um, basically you're talking right back in here in this area. Um, so you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a hill up here, um, but maybe right in here you want to be careful about and then right. So it's basically the people, um, some crime from right in this area um, to be concerned about. Um, so there isn't a whole lot of street view, as you can see right in this area, you can see probably it's from in here, but I'm gonna see if I can just grab street view right here and zoom in, see what it looks like. So basically, whoa, we got a bird right here. That's crazy. So um, again, you can see some graffiti, kind of a smaller size street, some broken down cars, um, pretty close to downtown, um, but this is perhaps, um, you know, the area that we're looking at. Um, I'll zoom back out here. Sorry, it's a little bit crazy on the view, but you can see um, there's kind of an area right in here too, um, which is kind of like almost, a, a, looks like kind of a shanty town as well. So, um, and this is really close to downtown. So I don't, 
uh, I don't see if you, you can see how close to downtown this is, but basically it's kind of right near the docks, right? Um, there's really close to downtown, uh, so you can pretty much walk to downtown from here. Um, but you can kind of see that's perhaps where um, some people live here. So it's not necessarily bad um, if you live there, but the crime, according to the maps, isn't so great. So basically, all in here, this is probably this little pocket of, that we just looked at. Um, but you can see right in here and then kind of heading back into here. Um, isn't so great. Uh, so I'm gonna turn off the roads here, um, just because it's getting a little bit annoying to see these yellow paths. Um, but you can see uh, more about what's going on. So basically, as you head back out into the city, um, this whole side here, and this is the original argument that I was trying to have. Um, kind of the problem is that once you're heading from the airport, um, this area. Um, can be a little bit tricky because if you got to get around this, you know, you got to get over to here to the beach, uh, Botafogo and uh, Gloria and so on. You kind of got to head through this area um, and getting off the bus or on the bus can be tricky, uh, particularly in these areas. So this is pretty urban, pretty downtown. Um, and let me show you the airport so we can zoom out here and you can see this is the airport, so you still got quite a long ways to go uh, from the airport, which is one of the major problems with this international airport is just how to get uh, to the uh, beachfront. And it is not easy. It's These are not, um, if I turn back on the roads, you can see the major roads show up, but it's not, it's not by any means easy to get through here, you can see Highway 101, essentially is probably what you'd take, um, but then right in here, it gets pretty complicated. This can be a major traffic jam just because all of Rio heading into downtown. Um, so once you get into this area, uh, you're talking kind of a little bit of a problem right in here and in here as well. So as well as kind of the general stress of the city being back in here, um, just makes it complicated. It might really help to clean things up to have a good, uh, you know, subway or train system. They kind of do have a train system in Rio, um, but it doesn't quite operate like you think. Let me show you a quick map of the train system. Um, so the basic problem here is you can see these are all the subway lines. There's not really a lot of subway lines in Rio. You'd be kind of surprised um, and it doesn't really work uh, just like you'd think. So, um, but basically this subway does head out to here, but you kind of get um, it just stops right here and becomes uh, above ground uh, for most of the rest of the way uh, into Rio. So it is helpful, um, but it's not like, it's nothing like New York City um, for sure. I mean, this is the subway, right? So this is all their lines um, when you compare it to New York City and New York City's got everything everywhere. Um, so it's not even worth mentioning it, um, but um, it's almost not worth taking the subway sometimes. So. Um, you got to be really careful about it as well. Um, so I think we covered most of the areas here in Rio. Um, you can kind of get some ideas of where it's dangerous, particularly back in here, um, maybe this area in here, um, and really near downtown. So I would say uh, to just generally summarize things, um, you do want to be careful basically from this area right in here. So I would say pretty much everywhere else along the beach here, you're pretty good to go. Right. Um, there is parts of Copacabana that you need to be watch out and there's uh, Hosinia here that you need to be careful about. So um, I would say that, you know, this area that we looked at downtown is pretty hard to get to. You kind of got to walk over this uh, highway system, head into here and really be looking for trouble. Um, but, uh, you know, the main problem is getting from the international airport. So. As I, as I thought about this, you know, you really want to take direct lines from the airport to the beach that don't mess around with uh, getting off a train or a bus and doing different things like that. Um, either take a cab, uh, go directly to there. Um, and this is just complicated roads, so it is going to take a while, uh, about an hour or so, um, to get into uh, the beach area. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this study. Um, super interesting to see some of the details. Uh, especially street view 
uh, the areas. Uh, I would definitely, um, you know, primarily focus on the good areas of Rio. Um, certainly we looked at some of the bad areas, um, but there's quite a lot of beachfront here, quite a lot of good areas. Don't worry about it too much, but be super careful, especially um, as you're getting closer to some of these areas that are not so great. Um, it certainly is um, something to think about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this recording. Let me know what kind of ideas you got. Thank you.